basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I mean, just think about like along the lines of a fully automatic, um, a fully automatic um, uh, uh, dairy farm. That's but the cows are all on pasture though. Fully so. automated gay space primitivism. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, instead of, instead of having, like, actual people, you know, you know, taking care of the food, or like, you know, uh, you know, taking care of the animals, it's fucking robots, but it's done in a traditional way of how they were taking, how the animals were taken care of before. Instead of people doing it, it's the only difference is the people doing it, it's robots doing it instead. <laughs> Based. So, like, yeah, that's, it's a, it's, it's a fucking... God, I am such a fucking narcocentrist, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but it, like that goes into is like, yeah, I mean, that, I mean, having uh, having having those fucking uh, you know, having the, the you know, basic needs being automated, like food, mm -hmm. well, I think food production, and like having be collectively owned, um, would be like a good way how to fucking. Uh, a de um uh, basically decommodified de food uh from bottom up and the thing is is that like i'm not even like talking about like i mean i, I think 100 percent decommodification of anything is kind of a pipe dream because there's always gonna be a fucking market for everything like the thing is is that like oh yeah so they uh we got some raspberry or automated uh you know raspberry growing plant um so i'm gonna make uh, a fucking pie and I'm gonna sell it. I mean, like people are gonna fucking do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, it's just like, it's. Ah, uh, you, you see what I'm getting at? Uh, can you repeat the last sentence? I, it, it, I think it's called cut. Oh, I was just saying is that people are always gonna like fucking, like for example, like like with the whole fucking pie thing, man. Like I was just saying, oh, like 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 a, there's a fully automated raspberry growing mm -hmm. facility. Um, and it, like it was collectively owned by people, um, and a like, community, and it's like everything was free. I mean, people are still gonna fucking use those raspberries and make like pies and stuff, and like no reason why they can't fucking sell that pie. That pie, pie uh, they wouldn't uh, wouldn't be able to. Uh, well, I mean, unless somebody was gonna fucking threaten them with violence, but like, um, but like, I'm just saying though, it's like complete demo decommodification of like any like fucking industry is uh as a pipe dream but that's fine as long as it's like easily accessible to people i mean mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah oh just yeah man. i don't know i don't I'm in a mess tangent bro <laughs> <laughs> so is there any way we can make tnt ourselves uh i mean you can yeah, you should be able to look up how to make Minecraft, how to make TNT in Minecraft. Yeah, okay, I'm recording right now, so a big, my laptop is gonna overheat anyway, um, any any moment now, so we might as well get it out of the way while we still can, yeah, so, well, what's the, what's the moral nihilism all about? Well, basically, there is no moral truth. Mm. I'm not a hundred percent expert on moral nihilism either. Uh, but fair like, enough. Uh, I mean I can explain it. Um the thing is is that like for example, like how does one derive a moral truth from an arbitrary physical action or a moral uh opinion? And for example, when I'm saying moral opinion, I'm specifically uh talking about uh moral relativists hmm. where they um they they believe that um, just because they like a specific role for them, uh, role basically. Um, and by the way, when I say moral, I'm just I, I'm using the definition of uh, uh, a moral described as a role for oneself. Mm -hmm. um, so as I say though, is that um, that it, it, since they like that that rule for themselves it automatically somehow it automatically becomes a moral truth the problem is is that like how does you just simply liking that rule for yourself becomes a <laughs> objective moral truth 
okay what if what if there's like a community of people who are who all happen to literally exactly share the same moral values i mean that's no there's no the, there's no issue with that but the uh but i'm saying wow that there's i mean there's there's no um uh, I mean, there's no philosophical problem with that but the uh the thing is is that like it's still that moral is still subjective though Hmm. I mean, you can make an argument where, like, this is actually something I came up with as well. Um, is that, for example, um, let's say you have a rule, like, you have a rule for yourself. Like, a diet, is, I think, is a good example. That you won't, you know, eat after a certain, ma- certain time. Hmm. Um, from, at the root of it, yes, it's um, that, or, uh, that, um, that rule for yourself is is subjective at the root of it it's subjective but like from my perspective though because i don't get to decide that rule for you you literally have to make that rule for yourself um it, it is objective but it's not a truth though you know what i'm saying it could be a it doesn't necessarily mean it's a morally correct it's just like that that moral to me is objective in the sense of that a piece of computer code and my that's away from my that's not um that's running on a computer is objective to me in the sense that it's not i mean yeah i can manipulate the code i could go in but and then but in that instance though i i mean it's kind of different for a computer because i can manipulate a computer and to some degree i could manipulate a person but they the individual does make their own uh decisions mm-hmm. uh, but i'm saying though i think a person would probably be a better example is that like the only way I could get you to basically change your your rule for yourself is by giving you some sort of information, and you have to decide on yourself. That your rules that you have yourself are objected to me. Does that make sense? Uh, I have to be honest. I'm kind of lost. Could you could you repeat uh, the last sentence, maybe? Okay. So like, so subjective, where you you get to decide what it is basically mm-hmm. um and you can decide what rules you have for yourself you can decide if that i'm only gonna wear red shirts on tuesdays <laughs> for the rest of <laughs> i mean that's that's a moral it's a rule for yourself mm-hmm. but and then, uh but what i'm saying though is that um that that um i don't literally i don't get to decide that for you i can only like um, how should I put it? If I even if I put a gun to your head, um, for your uh, like I told you like you gotta wear a sh- blue shirt on Tuesday. It's still you creating that rule for yourself. I'm just mm-hmm. manipulating a situation where you're just like, I don't really want to make that rule for myself because I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean it just comes down to that. But um, I was gonna say um, it's just like I literally the only way I could get you to do do what I want is by you know putting you in a situation where you change the rules for yourself which hopefully comes down to is that you still make um you're the one that um make the rules for yourself does that make does that make sense I honestly i explained this better when i'm fucking strong <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah so, like, i'm saying just because like it's a um just because if I put you in a shitty situation where I give you shitty choices it doesn't necessarily change the fact that you made the ch- those choices. Mm-hmm. I mean, it doesn't necessarily that it doesn't necessarily what I'm trying to get uh, what I'm trying to talk about though. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of lost. I should probably prepare for this part. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> but um, I was gonna say though. Um, so I say in the context of objective, it's basically perspective, basically, as I'm getting at, um, mm-hmm. where that like if you're looking at this perspective of um, that that it's subjective in the uh, from the view viewpoint of that like you created, then yes. But uh, if you're looking at objective, where it's I literally can't have control of uh, don't have control of um, what rules you decide for yourself. It's ultimately you that decides for it then yeah it's it's objective to me but the the difference is that like there's a moral truth though is that like there is not one single way to correct correct way to act it's all based off of like how the individual wants to act 
in any situation. Now, the thing is, is that I think there's a common, um, there's a common, we as individuals kind of have a common goal in mind. So like, for example, like in them, like a mathematical equation, uh, um, so you got this number two right here and you want to turn it to a four. What is the correct number to, you know, add to that two to manipulate it into becoming a four? It's a two. Yeah. So think of that number two right there as like that 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 first two you got right there. Um is like the relative situation you're in. And and what you how you want to change and manipulate that situation to change. Uh and you want it like for example of example like a free society um how do we convert this you know this fucking neoliberal hell <laughs> <laughs> you know in you know, our society um so we, what we got to do it, it, it is that like, what what are the ways how we have to change and how we act um and apply that to our our current situation to reach a uh, anarchist society, what it was, you, you see what I'm getting at, right? Mm, I think so. so. What is it? So, what is the correct way to act to reach our end goal? Basically, what is our proper praxis? Basically, to reach our end goal. Now, the thing is, is that like, you there's no, there's no. How should I put it? I mean, as far as I like. If, like, I because I really I used to be, you know you know this I used to be a mall objectivist and I stopped being one because yeah. I didn't fucking I I I realized uh like I can't make any um any um objective moral argument that like this is the only true way to act as an individual or uh, correct way to act as an individual because people. It, it, it just it it it's all comes down to individual self interest. That's really what, what it is. And is that like what I can do is that like this is a society we can have, and um, I could basically you know make a sales pitch of what oh, this is a society we can have, and this is what it's going to cost to mm -hmm. get that society, and how we're going to have to change our, ourselves to have you know. Basically, a better life. Basically, that's a basically a lot. And that's not. I'm sorry, <laughs> but you see, you see, what I'm getting at right. Uh, yeah, I I think I know. Yeah. Yeah. So how do how do I change, manipulate my own internal morals for myself to get my preferable objective concept? I don't know, man. <laughs> No, no, I'm just no, I'm just saying. I wasn't literally asking you yeah, that. Yeah, but like yeah. that's that's just like that's what like it just comes down to is like what rules can I make? Or like how can I act uh, in such a way where like as a global society can can be improved? Mm -hmm. um, and the thing is, is that like you you start like examining these like power structures we have in society. And like we look at the consequences of having them sit up like that, and like, like damn, this is I am not having a good time having society sit up like this. <laughs> <laughs> like I see so many faults in this where this could go wrong, and it's not pleased me at all. <laughs> so it's just like I mean I think you probably noticed as well a general theme that the more decentralized, um, you know. Uh, things become they um they um well, the better they are right i mean i'm pretty sure you noticed that as well yeah yeah um and so i know i'm kind of going on a tangent here i'm just <laughs> but um what well, i was going to say uh i was getting at is that like what rules can i make for, my, for myself to so I can have the maximum amount of long-term pleasure, and I don't necessarily mean pleasure in like a uh, you know conventional. I, and I say I don't wanna, because people when I say hedonism, like there there's like like positive hedonism and there's negative hedonism, and like 
basically, positive he is like we, we basically live in a positive hedonic society where everybody just, um, basically they put, what should I put it? Oh, instant gratification, like just now, 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 gotta have that dopamine <laughs> right now, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, and where I'm more of a negative hedonist, where is like. All right, I gotta like think about this and uh, you know, calculate like would be the long, like you know, long term. It's basically long term, like my long term pleasure of mm -hmm. uh, of how I act. Um, people don't consciously. Most people, I mean, I mean, it's a kind of a, a crapshoot uh, because it's a mix. Not everybody's the same, but there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot of people out there who just don't consciously think about like. The consequences of their other actions, basically, and like, yeah, like long term, they don't think like, damn, long term. If I keep on acting like this, get fucked up. And I like, I don't necessarily just mean like in like a, uh, like a day to day sense or like, damn, I damn, I shouldn't have smoked this fat bowl for a uh, weed before this interview because, <laughs> you know, it, may, it probably made me look like uh, unprofessional. But um, or like, what like. The consequences of only uh, relying on electoralism to get a type of society that they want, which fucking, I mean, not every American who uh, votes, but like a lot, like fucking. Think about your on long term of the the average voting liberal. Um, if you just like, please, can I have a quorum of equity? <laughs> you know, that's not like, like, you don't really think about the consequences of that, like. Of uh, having like only relying on that as a form of fact, um, it's it's just going to it just they're shooting themselves in the foot. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm sorry. I, I you're probably the other questions you want to ask me now. Uh, yeah, I mean you you pretty much went real deep into this topic. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you, maybe you want to talk about anything else? Maybe about the cinch stuff. Oh yeah, I need a fucking you know. Here's the thing. I need to read more. Because I don't really, I don't, I, I got, there's something people, I got, uh, uh, some philosophers I got to look into, um, mm -hmm. um, I've been, uh, not in the past Whoa! month, but, uh, for a, a couple months in the past, I was really looking into, uh, uh, what's, Nietzsche, yeah, yeah, and it's like, holy shit, this dude's fucking based, uh, <laughs> Uh, but, um, uh, yeah, and the thing is, is that, like, I wanted to, like, kind of get more perspective, and on, um, because, you know, I've been really fucking, I've, I've been laughing fucking really hard on Place in the Sins Manifesto, mm -hmm. um, and the thing is, is that I, I, I think I do need to read more, um, more philosophy, uh, so I could actually have something, like, like, worthwhile reading. Um, there's a couple people, uh, I have in mind, um, uh, I, I can't, I don't know if I pronounced the name correctly, but, mm -hmm. um, the Luz and Guto uh, I think there was, I, I think one of them is a second analyst, um, one of them, uh, and I think that was Guto I, like I said, I don't know, I'm pretty, I, English is my first language, but I fucking suck at it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, these probably aren't they probably aren't English names either. But I suck at pronouncing words in general. I went to a public school, so that <laughs> should be self-explanatory. <laughs> but uh, what does not say though? Um, yeah, it just like I, I read like a like a small like like a small um little thing on uh, I believe to lose. And it's like it's kind of like I kind of got like anti mommy state vibes off of it. Like hey! I got, I'll pull it up real quick actually. Um, mm -hmm. Shit, are we recording right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me pull it real quick. Okay. Um, I mean, and. and this is really me just talking about like developing cinch theory. Um, yeah. Uh, um, but 
I mean, it seems like um, I mean, we're working on a project, the Synchtopia. We're trying to get money saved up so we could get have like a plot of land, which is dip the fuck out of yeah. society. <laughs> and uh, I mean, that's like that's kind of what we got going on. I mean, I, I need to make more memes stuff. I got some stuff ideas in my head. I kind of got to lay off the ego stuff because I kind of like noticed that like I've been kind of just been spamming egoist memes on the page. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do some more. I gotta do. It's kind of easy because it's like it's kind of kind of easy to fall in that trap because like ego is a bully and ego uh bully uh. And comes and handcuffs. <laughs> uh, so it's just kind of like naturally float into <laughs> into that. <laughs> um, oh, okay, Gilles Deleuze was a French philosopher who, from the 1950s until his death in 1995, wrote a philosophy, literature, film, fine art. His most popular works were Two Bombs, Capitalism, and Schizophrenia, Anti uh, Oedipus, and A Thousand Plateaus. Both co-written uh, with psycho psychoanalysis Felix Guitari. Um So, are you? Um, what's the name of that? What's the name of that YouTube channel? Um, basically, he, like he looks at memes from a psycho uh, analytical perspective. Uh, oh, memes matter. You ever heard of him? Memes matter. I have not. Memes, meme analysis. Uh, yeah, that's no the meme analysis. That's the, that's the name of the YouTube channel. But he uh, he often talks about uh, like um, it's like so uh, Jung Jung yes yes Carl Jung. That's that's the second analysis I was talking about. Um, so Jung had these like um, I'm probably not using the correct terminology for this. But Jung had these, uh, had these, um, had these two, like, um, these two concepts called the anima and the an uh, animus. And what they were, what they are, is supposed to be the, uh, um, the masculine and a feminine side of our psychology. And when, uh, what, um, <laughs> Anima is supposed to be the Fed Moon and Animus is supposed to be asking masculine. Yeah, that's 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 what uh that's what it is. And basically with this guy um on this YouTube channel uh called Meme Analysis, he uh talks about this concept of the digital anima where it it's um basically the internet is sucking the soul out of humanity. <laughs> Basically, that's what it is. That, that that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> nice. That's that's a very short description of it. That's what it is. And basically, though, no, is that um, uh, people take the Oedipus complex uh literally, in the sense that um, that like they literally think that Oedipus complex means that somebody somebody wants to fuck their mom. That's not what it's supposed to be interpreted as. It's supposed to be that you're you're looking for this this mommy figure, and um, and um, and like these these different relationships you have with people, basically. Um, mm -hmm. And one of them I noticed, and you've probably seen me make memes making fun of these people, uh, the people who want a mommy state. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. And here's the thing. Um, I do need... I want to read this guy. I want to read this guy's work because he's talking about schizophrenia and anti-Oedipus. And I think I think he's going to be talk, talk, talking about something along the lines of that. Um, but... Um, I was going to say, though. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, there's people that, like... You know those Vosh lib soaks? Cool. What? You know, there's, okay, so there's like there's two camps of lip soaks I, I kinda I kind of like this realize that exist. You got like, you know, like the classical uh like I don't necessarily classic. I mean you got like 
completely reject using the state at all for practice of uh, left uh, left uh, libertarians. Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah. Then you got the ones who are like, oh, uh, we're going to simp for you liberals to uh, hopefully get a free society. You know which I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is kind of the people it's like he's talking, uh, uh, I'm I'm talking about when I'm making fun of, uh, uh, oh, also just regular run-the-mill Democrats as well. Um, but um, and, and, and in some degree, Republicans, it's, it's kind of like, different though i gotta um i gotta really like sit back and like analyze the relationship with that because that's a little bit different but um what you call it what you want call it oh yeah but basically like uh one of the things is that um i noticed is that like um these it's like the people are, in a sense, are basically kind of fair to grow up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they want, like... I've noticed that, is that, like, in one, one of the ways is that, like, I notice, like, where I'm at, where somebody's, like, I like, it's a, kind of like a litmus test to see where somebody's at, is that, um... What what do they um what do they think anarchism is and what um uh, how do they react from that idea and like if they somebody thinks anarchism is just no government and they're and they're afraid of it then they kind of have a child mindset compared to somebody who um compared to someone uh who like. Uh, who, th who thinks that uh, anarchism it means no government, and they're like, Yeah, that sounds fucking cool. <laughs> you know, what I'm they're excited about that. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, like, um, I think that those type of people are, I mean, it also depends because some, some people, if like, personally, like, how I see it is that anarchism is when the individual basically becomes the state. Um, that's personally how I see it now, man. Yeah. And that's personally, like, but I know it's fucking weird, but <laughs> <laughs> and it uh, it's, goes off the whole fucking egoism thing, but um, uh, he was being the uh, basis of my uh, <laughs> philosophy now. But, um, but like, I, I mean that in, in like, in, in, in a sense that like, um, that we take the responsibility on ourselves for taking ourselves of our taking care of ourselves and the people around us instead of having some sort of like you know mommy figure doing it for us. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm So I don't necessarily I mean I guess you could say in some ways literally, but like I mainly mean that in a figure figurative and the is we're are stepping up to the plate and doing what needs to be done to get this type of like type of outcomes that we want instead of um push all the responsibility onto somebody else basically yeah does that make sense at all uh yeah i think so yeah well, what's your thoughts about that i mean Sort of gave me a lot of stuff there, huh? Yeah. I I can't really disagree with you on any, on anything. I haven't really thought about things this way, but yeah, I think the stuff about yeah people wanting to be taken care of and stuff like that. Yeah, I think it's cringe. And yeah, like yeah, but I'm not I'm not against having people like having. I say it is like I gotta stay uh, free as possible against having people have good quality food as free as possible, as mm -hmm. uh, people having housing, you know, good quality housing free as possible, and healthcare as free as possible. I'm not against these at all. Yeah, the problem yeah. is, is that the way how people are put, wanting the average normally wants to go about doing it, it's they're they're it's like 
you ever as a kid where it's that like you spent so much fucking time trying to avoid what you, something that you, your parents like tasked you to do is that you're better off just fucking doing the thing than wasting all the fucking time just <laughs> yeah <laughs> just than just fucking uh, spending all that fucking energy and then trying to avoid doing that thing. Like, you see, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. It's that, bro. It's literally that. And, um, and the thing is, is that, um, like, I talk to, like, you know, these family members are like, fucking, oh my god, I... I gotta go on a small tangent, but those people who unironically who call themselves socialists unironically, and they think socialism is when the government does stuff. <laughs> like, like, I, I think it's more fucking cringe for somebody to be like like that than, like, so, you know, like a ANCAP or some sort of fucking Republican thinking, you know, it's that and being against it. Uh, against socialism, when they interpret socialism as that, I think it's more fucking to be like fucking uh, a liberal LARPing as a leftist and unarmed believe that socialism was when the government does stuff. That is cringy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Hello, man. Uh, and like, here's, here's how I put it. Uh, here's, uh, uh, I was just going to gonna say about it but like yeah i was talking to like you know some family members i have and like they were so, quote unquote socialists of that type of sort um and like it was like you know i'm not against you know like like what i just said like the food housing healthcare, like being as free as possible for somebody i i just think it's a fucking waste of time to go try to go throughout the state and get it because they aren't going to fucking do anything for us. I mean, anything like it's just going to be fucking. They probably just give you us breadcrumbs and just to fucking pacify us. <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's a fucking pacification, pac pacification game. Um. But I was going to say though. Um. I wasn't get, getting at. Um. I was just like, I think we just need to fucking step up to the fucking plate. And fucking forgot, try to forgot to get this for ourselves and uh, the other people we care about. We're trying to rely on these motherfuckers, mm. and it's like, and it's like, it's like, it's just like, it just they fucking shut down. They didn't know how to like. <laughs> what do you mean I should take responsibility for myself? <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. It's just. It's really funny. It's like I was like, I don't know. It, it's funny is because like, left wing. I, I don't know. If that's probably the best way to describe it. But left, like left wing messaging through right wing rhetoric, basically. Mm -hmm. You get you kind of get what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Is like yeah. The only way we're going to fucking get any of this is we fucking <laughs> do our. <work. laughs> and it's like you know it's 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 uh, it's kind of funny though is that like i um i have friends who are uh like conservatarians and it's like <laughs> yeah, uh, like uh, and i think like um yeah basically <laughs> that's what it is like fusionist types um and i'm talking about like in, uh, i'm talking about like my you know life friends um i told him it's like okay this is like Here's my positions and like oh so you just doing like bottom up voluntarily like, oh yeah that's cool like i'm down with that <laughs> <laughs> and or it's like or it's like yeah and i think it's trying to go through the state to doing this is cringe as fuck is like yeah i fucking agree and that's what how they how they are and it's like it's kind of like it's i notice it's a lot easier to get um people who are on just right wing in general honestly, on board for those things if it's done from the bottom up. Mm, true, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's like, we literally live in a society where neoliberals have convinced <laughs> fucking a whole fucking generation of people into thinking that is <laughs> when the government does stuff and they actually want and they actually want that to happen 
Yeah. <laughs> so, like, when I see, like, political normies on Facebook talking about politics and stuff, like, oh, we need socialism. It's like, yeah, but you want that fucking, like, it's, you want, no, you don't want socialism. What you want is fucking mommy state liberalism, bro. That's that's all you want. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's literally all what it is that you fucking want. <laughs> I mean, another thing, too, is that, like, uh, I throwing the fuck off, like, because I'm not a fucking sectarian. Fucking libertarian centrist. Economic centrist. Um, and, like, it's, it's funny, is because, like, I could, like, uh, I'll use, like, left-wing, like, uh, like, language. Mm -hmm. But, like, but in a way that, like, it's like, it's funny, like, because I, something, some things, like, um, when I'm having a debate with somebody in my family, I could be like way farther fucking left than they are, um, mm. but then turn around and have something where it's farther right than them, but still use the same uh, type of language I was using before. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, I think I know what you're saying. Yeah, and it's really, it's really funny as shit. Um, and it's like, they can't fucking put me in this fucking box, and it's really <laughs> funny. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> I'm playing both sides, so I always come up on top. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> and it's, it's like, um, it's fucking, it's funny as shit, though, is that like, I need to, uh, yeah. I need to look it up. And I think, uh, you were the one posted it. Can you, um, um, I believe it, you're the one who talked about this before. Um, how like the state intervention uh, caused uh, the solution of these fraternal societies? Yeah. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Can you go over that because I actually want to use that as ammo for the next debate. Oh I, uh, yeah. About. yeah. Yeah, I think it's really good because it's mutual aid societies. That's typically what le the le language leftists would love to use, you know. But it's it's the uh, it's the anchor channel talking about this that I found where I found it. Yeah. Basically, yeah, in, like, in oh, Australia, yeah. America, and England, there used to be uh, fraternal societies, basically like mutual aid insurance organizations. Or, yeah, they basically provided insurance to people all over all over the place. People uh, with uh, people from low paid work basically could essentially work enough in a single day to get enough healthcare for an entire year there they used to have like these massive networks of these societies all over the these countries and until yeah basically doctors started lobbying for uh, a, a government to do something because they wanted to, it's they saw it as beneath them to serve these people for that the lowest paid worker could get the highest quality care they saw this as an or something offensive and they basically started lobbying for government to to create uh one one size you know one size fits all one size insurance for everyone and they basically converted it into a mandatory insurance this means that people who were originally paying for the voluntary insurance they could not afford to pay for both of these so they all made the obvious choice of switching to the mandatory option and uh, yeah the, yeah the quality kept falling and the yeah the price kept uh, soaring and this is how we got what we have today Yeah, that fucking sucks. Uh, do you have uh, do you have the link for that? Because I want to like go like uh, a little more in depth in that one. Yeah, it's that. it's uh, it has a bunch of links, a uh, bunch of uh, scientific articles. Uh, I think the channel is called Bit Butter that uh, uploaded the video. It, it's really well made. Uh, they gave me the permission to mirror the video. I'll I think I'll upload it. I'll mirror to my right. channel. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'll so send it to you, man. No problem. Yeah. Um. I was gonna say though is that like one of the things I was talking about thinking about is because we could probably use that to our advantage if we want to get to try to get something like that going again is, is that we'll you know you ever heard of those you know what you ever heard of uh trucking schools before okay so like how these trucker schools are uh made up is that like they're all they're a trucking school slash a uh trucking company so you go there and they'll train you and basically um from there is that you sign a contract and you work for them for like a year. 
and I'll pay off, you know, the, your debt to them. Um, and it's a really easy, good way to get into trucking if you don't have, like, fucking any money at all. And you just need something to, like, somewhere to stay because you get to stay in the truck. And you get a, um, you don't have to pay for any, you know, any, any of your, your typical bills of living in a regular house. Mm -hmm. constantly on the road. Um, so, with that, um, I was thinking, of, like, how do we, like, I think I got an idea here to get fucking people, like, you know, get people, uh, get people, uh, degrees, uh, get more doctors, uh, or get more people with degrees, basically, with, uh, college education, um, and get people more healthcare. Why don't we have a, a fun setup or some sort of organization where if you will pay for your college, for your, uh, to get your, uh, whatever your cost to get a, uh, doctorate, but you have to sign a contract that you'll work for us for like a minimum of, uh, five six years hmm. you know what i'm saying like we get like we basically leverage the fact that tuition uh is fucking high to get people to be uh and you know a lot of people can't fucking afford it um and we'll we'll pay for your school but you have to work for us uh you have to work for us for uh x amount of years so we get you know get our you know get cheap health care for people basically uh hmm. i had to crack crunch numbers but like something along the lines of that yeah interesting i, I didn't know about these uh schools so i guess i don't know yeah. no no well, they don't I, I haven't seen any schools like that uh like for doctors but, not, but i'm talking about like having a mutual aid organization set up like that where mm -hmm. we uh there is like uh we'll pay like 20 bucks a month um or so whatever and um i'm just throwing out numbers right there and <laughs> and we'll uh we'll basically we'll pay for this person this individual to go to school but they sign a contract that they have to work you know you know work for uh you know give help basically um what should i call it um basically be a doctor for the mutual aid uh, for like the health mutual aid organization we got going on, basically. Yeah. And you know, obviously they get paid too, but um, but it I mean like not typically as much as you typically make uh, in a uh, as a doctor, but you get school for free though. Yeah. But yeah, and then like people would have cheap health care. Damn, bro. We should try it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's 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 how I I had to crunch numbers. I had to see like what what's possible, um, but that's one way we could do it. Or we could just uh, <laughs> go down to Mexico and get some. Uh, I wonder, like I wonder, like um, oh yeah, I don't think uh, doctorates in Mexico would transfer over to America, would they? Ah, uh, probably not. I'm not an expert, you know. I don't know. Just about America, just in Mexico, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, let me see. I want to send you that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, um, the whole Sensitopia thing. Um, like that's kind of like our main spot main project mm -hmm. like i gotta save up more money i'm i gotta get my life fucking together too i'm actually um <laughs> fucking i saw this fucking meme or it's like yeah man i fucking i'm 26 years old and i don't like i don't got anything going on in my life but here's how it fixed society though <laughs> us so us <laughs> It's like, damn, nigga, that's fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like that. Um, uh, send you one Discord. But um, I want to say though, um, yeah, I got, I don't know, like, I don't know, like, in terms of like. As of lately, I haven't really, like, 
notice any um any like I don't know say coincidence is, is that is the right term I'm looking for. But oh uh, patterns basically. Cause you remember like how um I made that one meme like last year. Yeah, which or one? it's the uh or it's uh somebody pulls off the max off the villain from Scooby Doo and it was uh um, it was the end cap ball and income ball and I pulled them off and it's just, just the Republicans and Democrats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that one. But like, that's the same one. type Yeah, of... uh, yeah. You remember that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this one. Yeah, it's just like uh like it's just like it's a weird interact I mean, obviously they don't stand for the same fucking things. Yeah, yeah. But same energy. Uh, they, yeah, same type of energy though. That's that's the thing. And it's real it's really fucking Fuck. I mean, it's funny, but like, I haven't really, I don't know, maybe because I also haven't been really been trying to think about it as much. But I haven't really been anymore. I might have just like done everything I can in trying to find, trying to find, um, which I'm call. Um, you know, finding those patterns, <laughs> those memes, <laughs> if you want to say it like that. Um, one other thing too is that um you know no uh this is uh, a thought I had um a while back. Um is that like a problem is I see like with um I I'm talking about like how like uh, your run of the mill and com or ancap how they would go about doing it. Um like their society. Um is that like their have you ever seen that political compass meme where it's like uh it's the four quadrants and they had the balls all placed where where they're at and they had like were like having like dialogue between the balls um and one of the things was that the like off com ball was um holding on on the top left was holding like a like a fishing lure um and i forgot what he had at the bottom like for the trying to like trick the ink on ball into like you know latching on hmm. but like what it is is like like try like um it was basically displaying how easy it is to get an ancom become authoritarian and like um uh what does it say um what was the word i went before her um and i think what it is is that like i i've noticed is that um like with example, uh, and probably the best way to describe it is that like, how would these state, how do these uh, anarchist societies, how would how would they evolve in authoritarianism? Uh, and you got uh, this. Uh, we're, we're, we're looking at authoritarianism through two different, um, um, basically uh, legislate legislative being authoritarian or economically authoritarian. Does that like you, you know like the two different differences I what I mean by that, right? Uh could you explain? So like uh example I mean they are kind of interwoven. They're kinda of interwoven because they kinda of, like how should I put it? Like if you can make legislation uh, for your community that affects economy in such a way that it allows people to be economic economic tyrants basically. Um, for example, like, uh, like the whole, like what we were talking about just before in the sense that, the, um, the whole in, uh, health insurance, the state passed a law, um, this is basically legislative authoritarianism, uh, where basically would it cause, um, a certain type of, um, business will be propped up. And it would allow them to have a bunch of economic power against a, basically a, a whole large group of people. Does that make sense? Hmm. Yeah, I guess. But, I mean, it's, that's, that's the thing is like how it's interwoven. But uh, well, I, I'm talking like kind of like separating my, my, my example, where like these income communities would be fucking hyper regulated and shit. And like it just be like, it's like it just turns to a fucking state again. Because <laughs> there's all these fucking rules. <laughs> and, uh, fucking, uh, with, like, for example, like, with a, like, uh, like, 
all you got, like a typical run the mill end cap is like, all you gotta do is just not hurt other, uh, cause, uh, um, uh, not cause violence against other people and, uh, uh just follow the NAP and everything will be fine. And I, I like the NAP as a rule, but like, um, let's just say though, um, and I think we but we had this discussion before, is that where you could basically not violate the NAP but be a fucking like massive piece of shit to be cool. <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> um and the thing is is that like it was like it just like turns because and the thing is is that like I, I it's kind of my problem with like the term free market now. It's something I still gotta um I gotta flesh out. Because, like, that means two, like, it can mean so many different things. It's kind of an anti concept. But let me, um, let me go back. Where it basically just because, do because, how should I put it? The average ANCAP doesn't see the, um, see the issue of have these people having large amounts of, um, of economic power, how they how could be used against them in such a way where they're not causing violence against the person to hurt them, they're mm -hmm. just using economic leverage. You, you see, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. And it just turns into like it's fucking like it turns to a turns into a state because there's just all this fucking nobody took upon themselves to like you know create something along the lines of you know like labor unions so people won't be fuck, uh, like be cucked into uh, fucking taking shitty wages basically like mm -hmm. yeah and be sitting along the lines of that um and I think because like the average ant cap doesn't necessarily see that as a as a tool for them to get more make more money um that's 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 um or just basically prevent them from being a fucking ticket advantage uh that's just that's that's just not necessarily a flaw with with and narco capitalism that's more of a flaw of how people would go about using an anarcho capitalist framework not utilizing to its fullest potential basically that's how i see it um mm. uh, um i was gonna say it though um oh, fuck there's something i was gonna go talk about but um i don't know but like i noticed that like like if i should put it I forgot what I was getting at, but like that's like the one of the things I noticed is that like if you don't, it's like uh oh yeah the whole free market thing because like what does that even fucking mean man like <laughs> even fucking me what is it what is it what like it's like like you guys like I, whenever you came ego it's just like I was, I was thinking about that like like technically wouldn't that fucking like. I mean you can fucking sell fucking like people if it's a truly a free market you can fucking buy people and sell people bro <laughs> <laughs> well i really want a free market or like and the thing is is like oh i mean i already have these arguments i already know the arguments against like fucking regulation of a market it's like where the fuck like so where the fuck am i at and i started thinking about it it's like okay how are we going to regulate a fucking market in such a way where it doesn't like fucking like Fuck us over, uh, or fuck us over basically, and um, and it's like a thing of like, oh yeah, regulating the economy from the bottom up for my uh, la labor unions, consumer unions, <laughs> um, then like yeah, I mean, I mean it's already something. It was a quick answer for me, though. I mean, because I already had like stuff like how are we gonna regulate the economy without uh like a fucking giant bomb state doing it for us, mm -hmm. um. And like so, like I already—I mean, I already did that, so it wasn't really quick, hard answer, uh, uh, hard answer, uh, hard question for me to answer. But the thing is, like, like this whole fucking concept of a free market, because like if it's being regulated at all from the bot, even just the fact that it's being regulated at all, that doesn't mean that means it's not free then. Mm. And. You know, you're saying though, you know what I'm saying, and I, I know like when we say free market, we just a free of coercion, but like, I don't know, man, like, I, I got, I don't have an issue with people like we having a role in our community, where people aren't allowed to uh, 
<laughs> trade it like you know picture of a you know a kitty porn i mean <laughs> i don't know then again yeah. maybe i'm just using a oh, fucking example like a fucking way fucking extreme example i don't know but oh uh, that's kind of kind of i kind of think like free market is like anti-concept hmm. interesting hey. I don't know. what are your thoughts about that I honestly have no idea. I don't really need to think about this. For a little you bit think about it? I have <laughs> you never thought about it from that perspective, have you? No, no, man, not really. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking weird, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm about probably might take this into some sort of fucking spiritual tangent. <laughs> That's that's fine. It's all <laughs> it's all good content. Getting that on here, he's fucking his wacky ass is fucking great for content. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that. Oh, like like we were talking about that the day, bro. <laughs> fucking the fucking the fucking uh the Slavic fucking power fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, what does it say though is, um, oh, fuck it? oh yeah, just dude, how, you ever think about like if, if we're just like constantly reincarnating and shit, like, oh, you, I think you fucking shared this fucking that the article where it's like, this isn't like the first universe to ever exist before. Like, I do, do you remember sharing that? Uh, I don't know. It's like the like something along the lines of scientists like oh there's other universes that existed before this basically. Hmm. Yeah, I've seen stuff like that, I guess. Yeah, and I guess they uh they found stars that are older than the universe as well. What? Yeah. I'm just like thinking is that like, fuck, bro, like how many like if 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 our consciousness is like. Like eternal, bro. And we're just like reincarnating this shit over and over again. Yeah. Like, how many times have we been through this bullshit before, bro? <laughs> uh, I wonder. And it's like I was thinking about thinking about too. It's like, what's the point of all this? Like, you know, it's probably just like some fucking bullshit answer. And like, <laughs> where it's like, where it's like, our higher selves is like, yeah, the reason why we do it is because it's fucking fun, bro. <laughs> It's fun. <laughs> you cannot probably, you cannot possibly understand how fun this is. <laughs> well, I, I hope I hope it is. I hope it is because you know this is this is some bullshit through my perspective. It's like, bro, our fucking our higher selves are fucking uh having a it, was... field day right now. It's, oh, wait, is it sadist? Is that the term? It's, no, or is a masochist? Say this, yeah, say this. To a person who derives pleasure, especially sexual gratification, for infinite or pain or humiliation on others. Oh, so they're masoch. I think they're masochist. <laughs> yeah, but then here's the thing, bro. If if you go in, if you go in your past, and like you fucking start torturing yourself. <laughs> A sadistic or a masochistic? Ah, uh, fuck your false that? dichotomies. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you, you, you fucking, you create a simulation that you, uh, where uh, you upload your consciousness to that, and the simulation is designed to cause maximum pain against your, uh, under your own consciousness, but you yourself in that simulation have no clue that you're. <laughs> That this was ever designed to be that way. You just wake up in it. <laughs> Is that sadistic or masochistic? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I don't think anybody's ever thought thought of that before. You turn off the recording? Yeah, I Oh shit. Oh you mean you mean in Minecraft. <laughs> How did you like my my maze for for drowned? More for, Bro, for drowned Steves. God. Fucking cool. <laughs>
<laughs> I, I was I was bored because you weren't moving, so I drowned you. <laughs> I can hold control for it. yeah, that's it. I want to go blow up some shit, bro. Damn, bro. How are you? How do, did you figure out how to make TNT? Oh, fuck. We got to do that. Where the fuck are we going? <laughs> I got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> how to make Dino. Oh, shit. In Minecraft. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sand, gunpowder, and craft table. Oh, hello. Ah, you fuck. It? You see it? Yeah, I see it. I cannot. It still says no permission. Ah. Ah, fuck. This is some bullshit. You know, I've kind of been getting a little bit more into uh, astrology, bro. Mm hmm. Mainly because, like, okay, the coincidences are a little bit too fucking uncanny. Just right off as some, like, hocus pocus bullshit. Uh, because, like, uh, um, I was. You remember Paloma, right? Uh, what? Paloma? Oh, yeah, the, the person from the chat. Yeah. Uh, so we were, uh, she. She was, uh, like, asking me some questions, like, oh, like, she was basically, I knew she was doing a natal chart for me, and, uh, it's like, okay, let's, uh, I want to see how, uh, how, um, how much you know about this stuff, and, um, basically, uh, I, we're talking about some stuff, like, damn, this, some of this shit seems fucking spot, like, a lot of this stuff seems spot on, and it's like, what the fuck, and, uh, yeah, and like it's just it's just it's just too fucking uncanny to ignore. I don't know, but like I all and every single time I see like somebody doing like a science like some sort of uh, scientific experiment on it, like they do it in like the most like weirdest like like it's almost as if it's designed to fail. Mm -hmm. Like like they're doing it like doing experiment like in a which, such a way is like I don't know like what there's this one thing I fucking saw on fucking. On YouTube, where it's like, oh, just get somebody's uh, astrological sign just by looking at their face. It's like, hmm. uh, that doesn't even, like, how does that even fucking make sense? <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, I don't know what still. Hey, what the fuck is cultural Marx? I still don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> Has control of the theater or something. Uh, 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 what is it? The fucking, uh, uh, post, uh, the fucking post, uh, postmodern neo Marxist. <laughs> I don't know, man. Fucking, fucking Sterner was like the first postmodernist and he fucking hated Marx. How does that even fucking make sense? <laughs> <laughs> man, dude. Bro, you know what uh, I was thinking about the other day, and it kind of blew my fucking mind. Oh. Is that like, yeah? So the thing about like, Marx basically took some of Sterner's ideas, and um, and like in terms of uh, like uh, black. Just, I was thinking about that. Like, how much of a, uh, how much, how many, how much of Sterner Sterner's philosophy, like downstream like affected like people's lives i'm talking like in the sense that like think about it, like like not necessarily through egoism itself but like just from marx taking some of uh, sterner's ideas um what does it say um 
how much of it did, uh, did it <laughs> just turn or affect people's lives? In the sense that, like, I wonder if, like, if Sterner wasn't born, would, like, you know, would a CCP, CCCP exist? You know what I'm saying? Damn, bro. You never, you never thought about that, have you? No, I have not. Most of the things you, you say, I have never thought about because, you know, they're really out there. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not, I, that doesn't, I'm not implying that it's not true. I, I just interesting. It's like, yeah. Shit. Yeah. It's like, damn. <laughs> Sterner might have be the reason why the CCCP exists. <laughs> <laughs> When uh, when uh, ninety percent of political normies don't know you, but you're uh, you're responsible for ninety percent of the world's conflict. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta step up your game, bro. <laughs> Me who are yeah. all on this? Yes. Yeah. Bro. So like, if if Marxist is the reason why, uh, fucking, uh, was the reason why uh, socialism got so big, uh, in that early twentieth century, and if uh, and if Marx got uh, stole, wait, I guess you could say adapted some of uh, some uh, Stirner's ideas, then would that technically mean that Stirner, uh? Some of his uh, actions that uh, was the reason why uh, the Holocaust happened. Wait, can you can you repeat that? Okay, so basically, okay, uh, Marx adapted some of his uh, Stern's ideas. All right, I don't know exactly, but but like in terms of uh, class interest. All right, mm. and um, fucking from there, you know. Fucking Marx makes socialism go uh, go viral in early. Uh, and I think that's second like 19th century. Um, but you know, from his writings, I don't want to say necessarily, but it's a long term type. But anyways, you know, Marx does his whole thing. Fucking the fucking uh, Nazis appropriate uh, uh, the term socialism. <laughs> mm. Fucking. Fucking Hitler does his uh, does his thing. Fucking, I wonder. Like, I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is that if Sterner was never born, I, I, I wonder what would life be? What would be the world we live like today? Ah, uh, no, man. Like, Whole different maybe... set of dominoes. What? Whole different set of dominoes would fall over. Yeah, dude. Uh, also, though, I'm curious is that, like, I, I don't know how fucking like, influential, like, because the whole, like, you know, the whole fucking class interest, I don't know how, like, how much of that is, uh, it was influenced to early, you know, how much of a fucking, uh, I'm trying to bring it up, how, how, like, how much was that, like, important back then for, like, like leftist theory, basically. Like, I'm, I don't know. I don't know the metrics of that, but like, mm. I can imagine though that like that it did had the explanation of whatever. I don't know necessarily what Marx's explanation it was either. Um, of you know of uh, class interest. Um, but it's a. I just say let's just imagine that it was like one of the like one of the things that got people thinking. About you know like socialism and shit, and mm. back then, <laughs> and just it just fucking just turned into this, all like like you know just just like those from it catching on basically I guess, and um it just turns into like <laughs> CP, CC, you know the China Chinese government being existed. Uh, it's just it's just funny as shit. They're like like damn, what if like just to think of that idea? Well, what if Sterner had more of a a bigger impact than we all thought of of our of our everyday lives. It wasn't for Sterner. What what if it, the only reason why uh, China 
<laughs> well, that was so much fucking, uh, you know. I guess you can say, uh, I, I guess you could say industrial power. Would that be is that would that be the right proper term to use? I don't know. Mm. Uh, because some some big foreheaded nigga back in the nineteen uh, hundreds was fucking born, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then again, though, is a like, you gotta probably say that like there's probably some other like fucking you know really intelligent inventor in Germany that also had a big ass forehead that was responsible <laughs> some for fucking you know. Some sort of fucking uh, invention that fucking revolutionized the world. I know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying shit. I mean, I'm just letting my imagination go wild right now. But like, maybe yeah. there's a whole bunch of big foreheaded German niggas who did that too, <laughs> but through like different ways. So. I don't know. Like some said, they made some sort of fucking engine that um, that was uh, you know that was like. Revolutionary for its time and its efficiency. Mm -hmm. You know another meme idea, uh, my meme ideology, I thought of. Oh yeah. Ego nationalism. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Our union with egoists would be the greatest to ever exist. <laughs> Damn, bro. I was, uh, when I wanted to go see Anna, um... Oh, really? Uh, you remember, uh, you remember when I went to go see her, uh, oh, okay. like a month ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, not nothing super recent, but, mm -hmm. um... Uh, I was always, I, I brought the idea to her, so, like, hey, can, I? Uh, can a nation be a uh, union of egos? And it's like, she didn't want to answer that. It was, and it was like, she was like, <laughs> like, she, she, like, she, she grudgingly said yes, but I'm not going to ever call it another, like, she didn't want to fucking, like, she said, I knew she didn't want to say it. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Yeah. I was thinking about it like, bro, like, what if, like, in that, uh, you know, egoist, the, na uh, the EU nationalist, they, uh, they, uh, you know, had a reference to uh, a certain uh, economic type called uh, socialism. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we'll have uh, ego, na ego national socialists running around. <laughs> ego Nazis, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole, remember when I made that, uh, the, their Sterner swastika? Uh,. Oh uh, no, when was that? I sent you on Facebook, bro. Sterner Swasti. I don't I don't I can't remember what what it is. I basically put Sterner's head on the um on the lines at the end. Oh <laughs> good mean We're gonna gas the spooks, bro. <laughs> I'm tempted to put that on Facebook, but I also like. I yeah. Know. I don't know, man. I want like part of me wants to trigger the living fuck out of the lefties lately. I just want to joke about racist stuff <laughs> and like killing the landlords, dude. Yeah. And like, I know I'm gonna fucking trigger the living fuck out of. I don't know, man. I know the fucking lib right is gonna fucking gonna fuck isn't gonna do anything, say anything, but like. Live left is gonna fucking lose their fucking shit. <laughs> Apparently, it's sexist to laugh at sexist jokes. Yeah. Even if you're saying it, I'll, I'll saying it ironically. Then again, uh, some fucking bitch though was like, uh, deleted me, and I was just like, I just be shit posting on Facebook. I don't really like, like, you'll know if I'm being fucking serious. Mm -hmm. And like this bitch was like, uh. Oh, I deleted you because I've been on the fence for you for a while. And like and like uh like a lot of stuff you say is funny, but a lot of other stuff is sexist though. And it's like Yeah, it's not supposed to be fucking taken seriously. And would you be fucking so butthurt about it if I was making sexist jokes about men? It probably wouldn't. Let's be fucking real. Mm. I, I'm not gonna probably make sexist jokes about men because I don't know. Like, 
not my. It's not funny because I'm I'm a guy. It'd be funnier if I was <laughs> just a woman. Um. Although I mean I think I have done big jokes and making fun of men, like, but it's more like making fun of weak men though. Yeah. Um. Or just like done it in such a way so it's super fucking ironic because it's sitting as a male. I don't know, but like. That's like really fucking hard to pull off though. And I only done it like a couple of times. But anyways though, this is like I gotta I like I gotta like if it was the other way around where I was like if it, if you were uh is it is it because I was making sexist jokes, or was it because you're getting booty tickled because I was making jokes about women's expense? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I have a good feeling it was just because I was making jokes at the expense of a woman. If it was about men, I'm pretty sure that bitch wouldn't give up at all. Do you got any plans about Singe for the future? Um... The fucking Singetopia, man. That's the biggest thing. That's... That's the biggest thing I could think of. Mm. Like, I don't think there's really like what else is it you do now? Yeah. yeah. Well, how, how are you? Wait, where where is gonna where are you gonna build this? Um, I'm thinking about Arizona, honestly. Uh, I've been letting uh Barry in Arizona and Henwin uh, logistics of it. Just mm. like, okay, how much money do we need? All right, that's how much I need to save up. Like, uh, because they already did all the research for the uh, well, mainly berries already done all the fucking research for agriculture or for the ag stuff. And it's like, holy fuck, you're like, you don't really, the only thing I can do now on my part for that is just fucking get me recruiting people and getting the proper enough capital. Yeah. I mean, I'm honestly, the I'll, I'll, only thing we could do and now in this fucking society, and there's only like a couple things we could fuck. Yeah, it's fucking burn this fucker to the ground and rebuild. <laughs> <laughs> or Based. fucking, uh, or fucking. Just fucking move away and make your own fucking society. I, another thing, I mean, this this is uh, this is more of a supplementary thing. I see it as, but like with the LP, uh, like clogging up the state's political machine with fucking a bunch of libertarians. I mean, that that makes sense to me. But like having as that be the end all be all, that's gonna just it's not gonna be. I don't think it's the. Uh, a smart idea. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I might suck at this, bro. We gotta find a different server, I guess. When I went to search it up on the search bar on the bottom left, that just redirected oh. being on Microsoft. Yeah. Cringe. <laughs> I hope the creative isn't broken there. You cannot place this block. Why? Oh shit, dude, you know what it is. What is it? Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, they figured out that people can basically nuke servers by placing 10 billion TNTs on a plot and they probably stopped the explosions for this reason. I see her. And... Hmm. Put a lava here. Okay. Nothing's happening. Oh yeah, you're supposed to break it. Oh, hello. Yeah, so we can make infinite blocks with this shit, probably. If I do this correctly. We're supposed to, make, uh, we're supposed to just make a, uh, a flat plane of whatever we want. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck, I broke it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, we, fight, we fucked up. I fucked up, to be specific. Oh, hey, this one is bigger, okay? Yeah, uh, send me the invite for that. Okay. So anyway, I really shouldn't fuck up the cobblestone generator this time, but... Yeah. Oh, hold on, I know how to do it. We got lots of water now. Hello, I'm a genius. Oh, wait, 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 that's not, that's too much. No, lava, stop, no. Okay. Oh shit, oh shit, I'm dying, oh shit. Found some redstone. What is that? I honestly have no idea. Yeah, this is the ultimate easy mode. Oh yeah, oh shit, there's a lot of shit here. Hey. Where's the bottom of the sky block? Yeah, nice. Can you, can you get back up? We'll be able to build back up. 
Uh, don't dig directly down. Yeah, I, I, I know this. That's not a bad idea. Holy shit, that was close. Okay, we have bottomed out. 